I just woke up. Mama let the papa sleep in. What's going on? Oh, my mother. Oh, my mother. Oh, we got the costume bin out. That's quite the way to wake up. Oh, hi. Michael's the broom man. <laughs> are these the are these the rabbit ears from Run Rabbit Run? When I ran, when I attempted to run Run Rabbit won't Run, everyone showed up with rabbits. Hello. Rabbit ears. Coffee time. Oh, good job. Great job, everybody. Perhaps we need a vlog all about how to prepare the bobo correctly. Well, I get a lot of questions about my my process for the bobo. What? Whoa! Oh. Oh, yeah. Morning routine. Morning, mornings, mornings with Henry. This is why we don't have anything new in the house. Nothing new. No, definitely no new furniture. That is for sure. Yeah. Everyone loves you. Tuesdays with True Love tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's tomorrow. We're gonna get you an update. I did a fart lick. And yep. I've never done a fart lick. And you almost spelled it right on Strava. Yeah, I, I misspelled it. <laughs> misspelled it. That's all right. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Hard. We'll get good. we'll get the big update tomorrow. Boom. Oh, coffee. Hello. Hey yo. Hey yo. Bobo uh, first, cashews second. That's my that's my go-to right there. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> When we train, we train. When we race, we race. What is in my hand right here? You ready for a strange or unique tip of the day? Here we go. I haven't shared this in probably about a year, probably since last year's Pikes Peak Ascent. Two weeks out from a peak race. Okay, imagine, think back, reflect on your best training block ever. You arrive and you're, you're, you're starting the taper, you're getting ready for race day, you're packing your gear, you're ready to rock and roll, you feel fit, you feel excited, and then you get to the starting area and you realize, wait a minute, I did not, I don't know, sorry for the details, I did not clip my toenails. And then you get in the race and you start to get a blister. That is, that's a, a nightmare for me where you have a perfect training block, let's say for three months, four months and then you simply forgot and so I know this is crazy but it's critical as runners we got to take care of our feet and yes that includes I know I know clipping our toenails but I like to do I know this is this is going into a lot of detail I like to do it two weeks out because I have found that if I mess up and I clip my toenails too close um, it allows a little bit of time for them to grow back. Sorry for the details, but I'm serious. Like, this is how we run our, like, I don't know. This is how I think is like just all the little details getting ready for a big race. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do right now before I go out for my run and then hop in the gym, get back to work. We're not done working. We're tapering, but we're not done working. All right, so let's clip some toenails. There we go. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't film it.
One second, one second. Let me put this uh, Torrent 2 up on the shelf. Made it to 50 miles. There it is on your screen. Today's run, 13 miles. I uh, <laughs> don't, always, don't always trust your watch. So I think I was closer to like 8.05 pace, even though my watch said uh, 7.30 pace. Supposedly, I dropped a 3.44 mile somewhere in there. Almost a world record. Uh, so my, my GPS was definitely off today. And that is just fine with me. So anyway, 13 miles, about 8.05 to 8.10 per mile. I'm going to open the packages another day just because of time. we got to keep rolling. Black and white. I am a black and white personality. What do I mean? I, I don't live in the gray. I'm all in. When I choose to do something, I go all in. You've probably picked up on that if you've been watching the vlog a long time. Like Even just like the fact that I publish every day, like... I'm all in here on YouTube. That's just how I like to go about my, my, how I live, but also how I train as a runner. And as I dive deeper into running as a sport and trying to pursue it with all the vigor that I can muster, I have found that, and you're probably gonna figure this out as well over time, the more you dig in, the more you uh, push yourself, the more you set your goals a little higher and a little higher each year, not every training block, but each year as the years go by, you're gonna figure out that um, as a runner, running is 60% of the equation. I don't know what the exact percentage is. It might be 55, it might be 75. Uh, my mental, I go with 60% and the other 40% is the little things, the action items like foam rolling, going to the gym, eating healthy, sleeping more, um, all, the, all those things that we're always talking about here in the studio. So for me, what I've decided in my life is that I'm all in on YouTube. I'm all in, baby. And yes, I'm all in as a runner. But because of those two decisions, all right, those two decisions, all my time is gone. Like, it's, it's like literally gone. It goes family, vlog, training, recovery, repeat. Family, vlog, training, recovery, repeat over and over and over again. And because of those decisions, because of that decision for how I'm gonna try and chase down my goals and dreams, um, I have had to decide and I've had to say no, sadly, to so many, well, not so many. I'm gonna go with at least three or four per month. Runners out there, I don't even know, like runners literally around the world, thank you for reaching out and asking me to be on your podcast. So when I'm training, I'm training. When I'm podcasting, I'm podcasting. Here's the game plan. August 23rd, Pikes Peak Marathon. August 24th, sleeping, eating, and being merry in the beginning of a running break. Okay, you know me, after a peak race, I take a break. What does that mean? Time time begins to bubble up to the surface out of nowhere it's just it's absolutely amazing so therefore from august 25th so tuesday august 25th to friday the 28th if you have a podcast or you know somebody that has a podcast you know and most likely it's going to be a running podcast yeah i'll get on any podcast but um i cannot guarantee that I will be able to do all the podcast requests. There's, I actually almost guarantee not, but I am committing right now from Tuesday to Friday, I'm gonna do at least one, but most likely two, maybe even three podcast interviews a day. So from the 25th, 26th, 27th, so four days of podcasting. That's how I, that's, that's the only way I'll be able to uh, fit these uh, opportunities and thank you for the opportunities to share my story share about my passion for running, share about my passion for YouTube um, on your podcast. So email me your uh, podcast goals, your questions, and I will see if I can work it into the schedule during those four days. That's what I meant by the vlog title. When I'm training, I'm training. When I'm podcasting, I'm podcasting. And on the note of podcasting, just so you know, uh, it's not gonna happen at 100,000. But some um, steps are gonna be made at 100,000 subscribers where I am uh, strategizing how to pull off a podcast for DGR, for Demore Global Running, to figure out how can we do this well. But again, remember, vlog, family, vlog, training, recovery. 
time is like time is gone with those four things right there. That's it for today. My personality, 100% all in or all out. It's just how I was wired. So question of the day, does your personality come forth and or influence your training philosophy, style? Uh, yeah. That's it. That's it. I'm just going to leave it there. That's the question. It's like, a, it's almost, it's an introspective question of the day. We have to think, hit pause, think for a second, like how do my characteristics, my, yeah, my personality come forth in my training as a runner. All right, everyone. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching another day in the books, another day closer. Let's go. Let's go. All right, everyone. We'll toss it back to, hmm, I don't know, something to do with introspection and digging deeper into oneself right there right there right there seek beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow